question 5a m reacts to form r by addition of one reagent as shown in figure 5.1 identify the reagents and conditions for this uh, reaction okay, so m is uh, uh, this uh, cyclohexene and uh, <clears throat> after the reaction it will form this diode so from the CC double bond or the alkene form diol, uh, so we know that it must use the chemino form. So it must be the cold dilute acidified chemino form. So the diol will produce okay, from this uh, uh, CC double bond, right? Okay, this one is very easy. Um, and uh, for part B. R is also made from M by two steps as shown in figure 5.2 here. Part 1. Identify the reagents and conditions for step 1 and step 2. Okay, step 1 is what? Step 1 is the this uh, cyclohexene from this uh, uh, halogen alkene. So this one is the addition of bromine into the uh, this uh, double bond so the reagents needed of course is bromine and the bromine must be in dark uh, if under sunlight means uh, later it will be the free radical substitution uh, which is not really the one that we want to see uh, so for this addition we want to make sure the bromine add to the double bond and no others uh, products form so it must happen in dark so this is a condition it cannot be under uv or sunlight for the step two from this uh, uh, halogenal alkene now is formed the diode so means the bromine has been substituted by the uh, oh and this one is uh, obviously is a substitution reaction uh, which we need to use the sodium hydroxide aqueous in water and it must be heat so when the sodium hydroxide with in water so the halogenal alkene will undergo the substitutions reaction right as you learned before Okay, part two name the mechanism for the step one here this one uh, so this one we call electrophilic addition uh, for step one from this double bond to form this uh, uh, halogenal alkene um, so this is the mechanism uh, so why we call electrophilic addition because the bromine's molecule is uh, the electrophile so and the electrons from the cc double bonds will donate to the bromine which is the partial positive and after that the bromine okay this uh, br br bond will break so need to draw one arrow from the bond to the bromine with a partial negative charge so therefore you form this intermediate okay with the this carbocation and the bromide that produced just now will attack the carbocation and form the products of course this is extra things just to tell you why is electrophilic addition because the bromine molecule is the electrophile and this electrophile add to the uh, alkene cyclohexene right so that's why we call electrophilic addition part c the infrared spectrum of r means this one the diode uh, is shown in figure 5.1 so from here we uh, know that uh, the broad peak here around 3600 something so is for the OH bond OH bond in this uh, molecule this OH bond and uh, this absorption around uh, 2900 is for the CH bond uh, you can get this one from the table um, for the hydroxy functional group uh, or hydroxyl so uh, when the absorption is in this range 
3200 to 3600 something okay this one so this one it shows that uh, is the OH bond and the OH bond is must be the hydroxy for the CH bond just now okay this is the alkane the CH bond the functional group is alkane and the absorption is uh, around this range 2850 uh, to 2950 which is around here so this is a CH bond okay if you understand this then you can answer the following part use the absorption in the reagent above uh, 1500 uh, wave number uh, in the table 5.1 answer this question okay add the F to the figure 5.3 to identify the peak that is present in infrared spectrum of both Q and R both Q and R so for the Q and R R is this diode Q is this one the similar absorptions between Q and R uh, of course it must be the CH bond CH bond so we need to find the CH bond so here this one which is alkene and this is absorption right so we need to put the F here this one near to this peak these uh, absorptions so and this one is the CH bond another one is the at G to this figure 5.3 to identify the peaks that not present in the Q so identify the bond that correspond to the absorption of G so for the Okay, because it's not present in Q. Again, Q is the, the halogenal alkane. So the one that not present in Q, it must be the OH bond. Because the Q is the halogenal alkane without OH. R is the one with OH. So this is the one that the difference between the Q and R, the absorption. So you need to put the G here around uh, this absorption, right next to this absorption. And this is because of OH bond. Okay, so now you just put uh, the CH bond and OH bond here. For the part D, Y is made from Q in three steps reaction. So this step one, step two, step three. Okay, so it's produced this uh, this diode. And uh, the step one is the <clears throat> involve the KCN in ethanol with heat. So after this reaction, the bromine will be substituted by the cyanide. So it will form these nitrile groups. So means these two will replace or substituted by the CN. So this is the structure of the W. And for the step two, it's very clear that uh, these uh, nitrile undergo hydrolysis. So means this CN bond will break and the carbon will form COOH, the carboxylic acid. And this nitrogen, these two nitrogen uh, will form ammonia later right so we'll discuss these uh, reactions later uh, so means after the step two it will form this uh, dicarboxylic acid okay after that uh, we just compare this uh, the this structure and the uh, uh, y so to see their difference so as you can see here the difference is this part this part this part and this part so means 
the this uh, CO double bond here. So first oxygens removed and is uh, <clears throat> need to add two hydrogens in there. So it means it will be two steps there. Remove one oxygen and add two hydrogen for each of these uh, carboxylic acid. So remove oxygen, add two hydrogen for each carboxylic acid. Means for these uh, two carboxylic acid group, total you need to remove two oxygen and add four hydrogen. Okay, that's the key. Later we need to use for the equations. Okay, so the part one already done, I told you just now, right, from the nitrile. Uh, in step two, uh, when W is heated with HCl to produce X, an inorganic products form. Identify the inorganic products. Okay, just now, from the W to X, as is mentioned, W to X. So, I told you it will form ammonia. And the ammonia will react with the HCl to form the ammonium chloride. So, that's the reaction. So, means the ammonia to produce will react with the HCl because it's heated with HCl. And the inorganic products is the ammonium chloride. So you just put the formula NH4Cl. For part 3, in step 3, X reacts with reducing agent uh, because the carboxylic acid now is reduced to alcohol. The reducing agent must be lithium aluminum hydride. No others, only this one. To produce the final products, why? Complete the equations for the reactions of X with Z. So you can use the molecular formula to represent the organic product and use the H with uh, uh, this square bracket to represent one atom of hydrogen from Z. So uh, first you need to identify the, the products that form here. So it started from this uh, dicarboxylic acid, this one. So as I told you, it uh, will remove two oxygen and add four hydrogen. So means the products, organic products here, you just need to put this one. Okay, carbons remain same, eight carbons. Hydrogen must add four. So 12 plus four, becomes 16. Oxygens must remove 2. So now it becomes O2. So the molecular formula for the products now is C8H16O2. And of course it will form the uh, H2O because the oxygens removed here will combine with the hydrogens from reducing agent to form H2O. So you just balance it. Okay, put 2 uh, 2 H2O and here you just put 8 hydrogen so the equation is balanced okay the last part already told you the identity of Z the Z is a reducing agent right the only reducing agent used to reduce carboxylic acid to form alcohol it must be lithium aluminum hydride okay, that's all thank you